What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. This is it. Like, this clearly isn't the end of the game, but this is the level. This is the one everyone dreads. Also, I want to apologize because I just saw some flashes outside. There's a major thunderstorm right now. It's like the second one of the whole year. There you go. Now you heard it. I'm going to try and, uh. I mean, I'm going to say this. I'm going to try and cut it all out because, you know. It's a little excess noise, and it's not something you want to deal with, but probably not going to happen. I like to talk, as you can tell. I enjoy talking. And, uh, yeah, if I'm cutting stuff out, that means I'm cutting out all video, too. Because I don't like to just run around all silent like, because it's boring. At least if I do that, I don't like to leave it in. Because nobody wants to watch that. It's boring. So, we're going to start this off, uh, the only way I learned how to start this off as a child, and that is by going in this, this, this one, I think? Yep, going in this one, and hitting this button, and dealing with the worst part first, the first worst part, and that is the death run, where you go in there, and everything is awful. So it looks like the good news is it's not timed anymore. I'm pretty sure it used to have a 90 second timer on it. Uh, quote me if I'm wrong, but I, I'm fairly certain I would be willing to wager, put money on that. If, if, some, if one of you were here right now and we were hanging out and you said I was wrong, I would put money on it because I like to take other people's money. No, it's, it's because I'm fairly certain that when I played this game, I was in a big rush to do it. There's two things in this level that are timed, from what I remember, and that's one of them. God, oh God, do I not want to play this level right now? Oh, really? And just, and just chasmus. Yeah, I remember having to run all the way through this whole thing because, you know, if you were... I'm not getting that. Oh, I'm getting it. Whatever. Whatever. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh. Everything. You have to be lightning fast on this level. Or you're dead. Or you're dead. It's just that easy. Oh, my God. See, it'll slow down, but I don't, I don't care for it. Everything's... I'm taking the safe route everywhere here. Oh, <gasps> Everything is a heart attack. I don't even want to talk here. Like, I don't, oh my god, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I hate this part. So This is the worst part of this whole game. This is easily the worst part of this whole game. Oh, you know what? This is the thing outside. I was gonna, I was gonna hit that right away. That would've been a bad idea. Not a smooth move. You guys have no idea. You have no idea. Well, I'm sure you have some idea. If you've played this game, you know what this part means to anyone that's playing this game. This part is almost guaranteed. Yeah, look, we got past the first hard part, and that's getting the jiggy. It's getting the jiggy. So now, here comes another timed part. I'm fairly certain this part's timed. But what's gonna have to happen is I'm gonna have to hit the button on this side, I'm gonna have to hit the button on the other side. I have to time it up real well. Cause these things are gonna go fast, these things are gonna go slow, you have to, oh my god. If you, if you hit one of these things, by the way, you're dead. You're dead. No! Oh, I live on! Nope, oh, never mind. It's just that easy! It's just that easy. So we're gonna have to go back, we're gonna have to do that again. This is why I do this all first. Now, if you recall me saying from one of the earlier episodes, they did change this game up, where, um... In this game, you really don't have to, uh, let's just say in the N64 version, you absolutely had to get everything, all the notes, all the Jinjos in one go. Because if you died at any point, it all reset. And that was, that was one of the least enjoyable parts. To say, like, to put it lightly, that was one of the least enjoyable parts of the original Banjo-Kazooie. So you'd always have to go back and you always have to get everything if you messed up that area. So, God help you if you had 96 notes and you messed up that jump. Which I did once. I did once. I got real nervous as a little kid. And I absolutely messed that jump up. And I had to go back and do all 100 notes all over again. And as a little kid, that's heartbreaking. 
That's... That ruins you. That's... I'm gonna take damage now. You really... It's... Oh, man. You, you lose trust issues with that. It is awful. But enough about me. This is about the button. I don't remember what the button... I think the button turns off the engine. The buttons, I should say. There's two. But I'm pretty sure they turn off the engine. Really? So, I'm not... not doing, I don't want to wait. Like, I don't want to wait for this. But there's absolutely no way I'm risking the fan more than twice. More than I have to. Because it's just not worth it. It's just... It's just not worth it. Just one little break. One one little slip off every time. And you have to start over. So the good news is, though, I'm going to get that every time I do mess up. Which hopefully isn't more than that one time. Because that's already my second death. And I also feel less bad about dying to a cactus now. <sighs> okay. Let's do it. Great. Now, let me bypass the fan. Go! Please! Oh, okay, one down. One down. One more time. Okay, alright. That's easily the hardest part of this whole level. Done. Out of the way. Now we have 90 seconds to get out of here, get to the back of the ship. Right? What? Yeah, oh. Okay, 65 seconds. Cool. That's what I thought. We're also gonna make sure nothing spins here. It doesn't. They at least, at least made that easy for us. So nothing is wasting time. So just when you do it, you do it. You gonna go? Okay. So we can take our time here because the last thing we want to do is die ever again, like in this game ever. As long as we get to the. Oh boy. I'm really gonna have to remember what the back of the ship. I'm gonna take a guess here. It's the side that I went to first. I haven't been to the front of the ship yet. It's a guess. 100%. That's all that is, yes. We really gotta book it now, because we have 20 seconds to get to that. Come on, let's go, 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 go. 15 seconds. Oh, boy. 10 seconds. Oh, boy, we're really gonna have to bust it to get down there. Oh, my God. Oh, that was close. That was close. Okay. Never mind. Not only was it close, it doesn't actually turn off. But the good news is we don't have to go back down there anymore. That's the end of that. So now we can actually work on this level. Oh, cool! Thanks. I wanted to jump in the water right away. So the fun part about this level, if you don't know, for whatever reason you're watching this and you have no idea what this game is, the fun part about this level is normally when you swim around, you have to go underwater and you lose air bubbles. And that's pretty much it. In this level, the water's polluted. So you lose you lose air at a constant, like a normal rate when you're swimming in it like this. You lose it at a double rate when you swim underwater. How exciting. What could that mean for you? That means when you go and get this Jinjo, you drown twice as fast. How cool. And then when the camera inevitably tries to mess you up, Twice, by the way. Oh my god. In and out. Clean. Now, I've drowned at the surface this level before. It's not fun. Not enjoyable. Alright. Okay, so that's... that's the, the hardest part is already behind us. That's the end of it. Now the rest is just clearing everything out of the water. And outside of the engine room. Which is considerably less deadly, as you can imagine. And that's pretty much the only worry you have in this whole game. When you start this game and you want to do a run-through in it, the thing that's make or break is that boiling. As you can see, it's just, it's just too easy to just die. Oh yeah, you know there's tolls too. Oh, and if you pay triple the toll, you get a beacon token. And you don't have to deal with the big monster man. It's, it's worth it, you know. Why not grab one of those? I don't think I even need a golden feather, but I'll take one, just to be sure. Yeah, whatever. 
You win this round, Golden Feather. I was wrong, you were right. Oh, and our shark friend makes a return, too. What about him? Yoink. Jiggis Maximus, we're already three down. This one's already going by pretty quick. So I think this will be one part. I, I know that I told my friend that I'd make them all one part now, but I think the next level, Click Clock Woods, deserves its own two parts because there's a lot to that level. Unlike the other, or the other ones. So you think it'll mess with the flow of the level, but I say in this special case, it probably won't. But I just want to look around here, make sure I didn't miss anything, because the camera angles tend to make it easy to miss stuff. I thought there was an extra life in here, so I'm just going to go check down here really quick. Nope, we are clear. Cleario as a Cheerio. I wonder why people don't say that very often. Probably because it makes you sound like a loser. Why would I start underwater? So let's go save Mr. Dolphin Man. Seems like an upstanding character for this whole little game. Another unrecurring character, which I mean, you could argue that he does and doesn't show up in the next. In, in, oh boy. Sorry, I got scared when I saw these. You could argue he does and doesn't show up in the next game. I mean, he, he definitely doesn't have a speaking role in the next game. Act like a jerk, and you don't get written into the next games. It's not true. A dolphin can't act like a jerk. It's a dolphin. So, yeah, boom. Jiggy. You're welcome, little dolphin boy. Yeah, yeah. Don't know where everyone in this entire world is getting all these, uh, these jiggy plates, but hey. Take them. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Here, I'm gonna be quick here. Get out of the water. Gotta go. Gotta get. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, the ladder's right there. Everything's fine. Oh man. Nothing about this level's fun. It just makes you hate pollution and chips. And boiler rooms. Especially boiler rooms. Boiler rooms are the worst. Don't ever go in a boiler room. I don't care how much they pay you. Easy, easy, easy. Getting these notes is a pain. Once you're done, you just have to mark the spot. There's a there's a hole somewhere around here. Typical me. Oh, you know it's probably over there. Or something. I have no idea where it is. Oh well, let's go. Let's go to the shark. Oh, there it is. I found it. Found it. Oh, why would you spawn there? Big bully. So it's, it's straight ahead of me. So I'm just gonna go up there because we have ourselves a little something we gotta grab. Get down. Oh, stop it. I'm drowning here. Can't you see? You're hurting my. Also, this doesn't look as polluted, but. I don't know. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not. No, I don't. I don't make the rules. They do. Oops. Okay. Cool. Did I spawn it yet? Yeah, I didn't. Whatever. Don't judge me. Oh, snipe. Oh my god. I think that'll be the first time a death, a death preserver, a life preserver killed somebody in the water. So now we just have to fly up there, grab that, and get out of here. I mean, other than dying twice. We'll talk about that second time. Other than dying twice, this has gone pretty swimmingly. Everything's gone pretty quick. I mean, it even kind of put me in the spot I wanted to, even through death. Really? There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. It even put me in the spots I wanted to be in through death. As grim as that sounded. I mean, I did have to go back to the boiler room again, which did suck, but 
I mean, for the most part, it didn't really hinder me that much, surely. Stop. You stay in there. I think what, it probably set me back maybe a minute, minute and a half. I don't know, I, I can't see this being very long. If it is, it's definitely not going to be as long as Click Clock Wood is going to be in total. Well, I say that. I can never tell. My, my sense of judgment, my time judgment's always bad in this sort of thing. I was, I was, I was doing my Hotline Miami video, and I noticed, I said, yeah, I've been trying to cut down the time, and it was my longest video yet, at like 18 minutes or something. I don't know. I try and cram too much in one thing now, like, it's, that came out wrong, and that's not something. Ignore what I just said. Get out of here, box man. I, uh, I don't know. I'm really, really bad with guessing stuff, I guess. I don't know how else to put it. Sorry. Jake. Yee. Get over there. Jake, get over there. You gotta book it. You really gotta book it. Devin, book it. Solid basketball. Oh, you are a pain and a whore. And I'm upset with you, camera. I apologize for that. That was that was really unnecessary language. That was it was a little too much. But the camera did did make me have to do this a second time, which I didn't want to have to do. I'm usually pretty good with these timers, but the camera in this level's already caught me off guard twice. You gonna do it again? Good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Get in there. God. Oh. Oops. Oops. <sighs> I'm dead. Wow, how did that not hurt me? He took three big bites out of me. Beacon Yoink. What's in here? Oh, it's, it's the kitchen. Ow. And there's the chef. Get lost. Hi. Get lost. So I think only if they're glowing. Nope. Yeah. I kind of walked into that one, but hey. It's okay. It, uh, it was worth the beacon token. Okay. Now you're just now you're just throwing bad camera angles at me. There's stuff in the... Yeah, there are. Near me. Throw your honeycomb. Whatever works. Thanks. Thanks, guy. Appreciate it. Upstanding citizen. Alright, 53. The notes in this one are a lot more spread out than they are in most. Like, in most, they just give you a whole bunch. In, that one, in this one, they're like, they hide them in windows and stuff that you most likely never notice. Unless you wandered around the level too much. Thank you. You're the best. Six? Oh yeah. We're busting through this level. No one's business. Let's see. I don't really remember. One for the Jinjo. One for the box man. Oh no, I over there. I got it. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We got we got everything under control. There's no need to worry. We got the notes that we needed. We came and we went. Three three one two one 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 three one. Surely. One one one. Oh my god, you are the worst. Swim over the ladder. The life preservers, man. You could have made an enemy out of anything. You made an enemy out of a life preserver. Why? I'm just speechless. I'm getting my butt. I got my butt kicked by a life preserver. Don't know what to say about that. Stop. 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 All I know is there's a Jinjo in here. And I'm back to the start. Where am I going? Oh, it's, it's back there. I got it. I see it now. I see it now. Aerosol. Yep. 
I hear you. So there's that. Where's the last Gingis? I don't know where the last Gingis is. Oh! Unless he's, like, in the corner of the map. Then I think I know where he What is going on? Just clip it everywhere. Everything's fine. Because we're done. We're done there. Now, I don't know if there's anything of use in these other two. I'm pretty sure there isn't, other than notes. But we're going to check just to be absolutely sure. That's, that's usually how the game works. Like, they make you go into every area with the incentive of notes. Nice. Solid. Good one. Can I go up here, please? Don't let me go around. I will go around. Yeet. Alright. Out we go, and uh, there's one other thing over here. Hello. I see you. Never mind. I don't, I don't see you. I don't want you. I don't need you. What is this? Oh! Nope! Haha! -ha. I bested you, foul scum. I bested all of you, foul scum. Oh no, one more. Ow. Ta da! So, yeah, all you have to do is I mean, if you're feeling really lazy, you go in there before you go in the one I was just in, the one previous to this one, and you just you just let all four of those hit you. And then you go in the this one right here, and it has the honeycomb man, and you just take the honeycombs. And it's like nothing happened. How about that? It's like a life hack. It's a life pro tip. Hashtag not very good at Banjo Kazooie tips. I don't don't judge me. I'm, I play games for fun, and I should be labeled as such. Oh, don't you look at me like that, Boxman. Don't you look at me like that, Boxman. Oh. Stop. Stop. Oh, he thought about it. Ow. He reconsidered the last second. I have to go back, because Life Preserver, like, kicked my butt so bad. I totally, completely forgot what the code was. I'm pretty sure it's two, three, one, 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 or one, one, two. It's twice. It's twice. You, not this time. Because you just have to put it, put the, uh, the numbers on the notes. And you get G. Because this game, more G pity G's all the time for everything. So let's see here. It is. First, get down. Three, three, one, two. I would have been totally wrong. Three, one, two, one, one, one. We can do that. No prop. Let's uh. Remember this being fun. Let's do this real quick. So I don't recall any other way to do this other than just jump. And I didn't. So I'm just gonna cut this up until I get the jump right. So I'll be right back. Oh my god, second try? Second try? Oh my god. Also, I just saw the Jinkos over there in the corner. We'll get that. We'll get that in the next part. We're going to clean up. The next part's going to be the cleanup. Because we're going to get all three outside jiggies, and then we're going to do the first half of Cloud Cuckoo Land. I keep saying that. It's Click Clock Wood. Cloud Cuckoo Land is the next game. There's no, no rhyme or reason as to why I continue to think it's the next game. I think it's because I think that level is so much fun. Everything about it is just so great, especially Canary Mary Race. It's just the best thing ever in this game. And there's absolutely no sarcasm in my voice whatsoever, and you can't tell because I'm tired. And coming out of a sickness. If you couldn't tell from my my last banjo kazooie. Holy crap. Did I sound real good or what? So I have I've been known to mess that up a lot. So I'm gonna come over here real quick. I'm gonna do this. That is gonna be 
failsafe, because when I inevitably fall, which I'll totally never, it, it won't happen, like you won't see it happen, period, and I'm too good to fall. Look at that, see? Professional. But if I would have never really fallen, I could just climb up the ladder that I did to get to the one little area you saw me clear prior to this one, with the, uh, the blue Jinjo, and I'd be able to just take the path back over. But that's not, it's not really necessary, because I am good. Look at this, I'm so good, I am Kazooie right now going on this. At top speeds, as you can see. And I'm totally not going to fast forward that to make it look like top speeds, because I don't have to. So now I just have to do 312, 111. I have to go up the smokestack. And that's... And I have to do the, that, that side of the ship. That's it. I'm fine. Oh, what, a, what a completely menacing boss. Boss Boombox. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous boss they can come up with, by the way. This boss is hilarious. Come on, little guys. If you manage it right, this, this is this is not the boss. If you do it, if you do it the wrong way, and you just try and like, if you if you get only the biggest ones, which I don't know why you ever would, it makes no sense. If you get only the biggest ones, it makes it real hard when you have like 16 of these little guys everywhere. 16. It was, it was just impressive. I splintered him. Got him. Alright, so... Um, what... What do I have to do? 312, 111. 312, 111. And smokestack, of course. And then there's one more window I didn't get somewhere. Do you remember that? I think it was near the entrance to the ship. Don't you bite me! No. Beacon token? What's up here? Nothing's up here. My photo opportunities up here. Thumbnail. Alright, back to it. Thanks, camera angle, for complying with me there for once. You're the best. Don't you fall the ladder. Banjo? Okay, good. I don't know if it's a window or if it's. I don't think it's a window, actually. I think it's one of those little. Eat your pipes. Eat your pipes. That's all I'm gonna call them. Nope, nope. No. Yeah, eat your pipes. Right here. Eat your pipes. Pop in. Pop in. There you go. And this has. That. That's helpful. Notes. Perfect. Oh, I got worried. I got worried it was going to fall, so I went to catch it. it. Made me look like a fool. Point me for a fool. Really? Really? You played me for a fool. Stop doing that! It's completely unnecessary. Alright, so I think we're about to clean up the level here. I think this is the end. I don't know that we're missing any more notes. I think what we have, like, in front of us is all that's left. And I say that with 5% certainty. Because I missed a window. Alright, good. Glad I, glad I noticed this window. Glad I checked it. Because, oh yeah. I totally remember not, not getting all the notes at one point. I'm totally missing just that one small area. Oh, really? Why did they put three of these guys? Captain's quarter. 
Cheers. We clear? We clear. Alright, out we go. Finish the level and get out of this hellhole forever. Three, one, two, one, one, one. Got it. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was gonna be up top. That's even more generous. Last one, baby. Subble's flying by. Also, I like that I, like, in the beginning, I pointed out that there was a huge thunderstorm. There hasn't been a lick of lightning or thunder since that happened. So, thanks a lot. How do I get you? Because I want you. Is there a springy step? There's a springy step. Yeah, springy step. Me. 97, 98, 99, 100. And then, yoink. That is that horrific level. Oh, right? I didn't miss a honeycomb piece, right? Good. 30 minutes. Oh, for shame. For shame. Oh well. It's pretty much on par with my other my other um I guess my other last two levels, even though I cut Gobi's Valley into two. Doesn't matter. Alright. Next time, Click Clock Woods, we're also gonna I'm gonna the beginning is gonna be me unlocking Click Clock Woods and getting those three jiggies that have all been left out. Sorry, two jiggies plus the click clock could you get it. It'll be at the end. I will uh, see y'all then, though. Don't you do that, Kazooie. Kazooie. It's time to go. Kazooie's getting angsty. See y'all.